Hi, this is John McDermott. One of the first things that I learned when writing shell scripts was how to pass arguments to the shell scripts. This is a brief introduction to those arguments. We call them variables inside the script, and we'll talk about the five basic ones, and then I'll show you a demo of them in use. The first variable is $0, and it's the name used to invoke the script. It may be just the name of the file, it may be dot slash the name of the file, or it may include a path name to the file. It's what the user typed on the command line to invoke the script. The second is actually nine different variables, dollars one through dollars nine. These correspond to the first nine arguments to the script after the name in which it was invoked. Number 10 and 11 don't e or on don't exist. For that, we have to do something else. Dollar sharp or dollars number is the number of arguments other than the name that were passed to the script. The fourth is dollar star or dollar splat. It's the list of all the arguments, but when you put it in quotes, it joins them together as one long string. And finally, there's dollars at. That's the list of arguments, but when you put them together, it acts like an array. So when two words are passed together on the command line, they'll appear as two words in the same element of the array. So here I have my bash shell script running, and I'm in my home directory in a directory called demo. I have the script called bash underscore args, and I'm going to run it with four different words as the uh, arguments. But you'll note that bbbccc is in quotes, which makes that one single parameter. So really I have three parameters to this script called bash args. So let's run it and see what it looks like. Now, it says here I invoke the script using the name dot slash bash underscore args. That's dollar zero. It says there were three arguments. That three is from dollars number sign. They are colon, and then it lists the three arguments. But you'll notice that because I did not quote, and you'll see this when we look at the source code, I did not quote the dollars at or dollar star, so it looks like four separate words. The first two args were dollars one is here used here for AAA, and dollars two is used for the BBBCCC. I put the quotes around it in the script, and you'll see that. In the rest of these, I put the quotes around them too, so you'd know what was in the various strings. You'll see that when I quoted dollars at, it did indeed separate the three arguments as three separate strings. But when I didn't quote dollars at or dollar star, there were each word was a separate string. However, when I quoted dollars star, they all became one string. Now, let's look at the source code. I have VI already set up, and I have the lines numbered to make it easier to talk about. So here is the script itself. There's a little bit more. The first line is invoking bin bash for the script. You'll notice it has the familiar shabang or sharp sign bang character at the beginning. Then in line four, it shows us $0, the name under which the script was invoked. In line 5, as I mentioned, it did dollars number to give us the number of arguments. You'll recall there were three. And then it printed dollars at, showing each of those words separately. But you'll know, you couldn't tell that two of them were part of the same argument. However, when I printed dollars one and dollars two, then you know that dollars one was the first word, but dollars two, the second argument, was surrounded with quotes on the command line, so instead it glued those two strings together as the user intended. Now, 
Here, beginning in line 8 through 13, is dollars at. You'll see in line 9 that it's quoted. That means it'll separate the arguments as they were provided by the user. In lines 14 through 19, dollars at is not quoted, and as a consequence, each of the words is a separate string. The same with lines 21 through 25, dollar star is not quoted, so each word is in a separate string. Let's scroll down a bit, and you'll see in lines 26 through 30 that because in line 27, dollar star is quoted, then it'll be one long string. Let's suspend this editor and run it one more time to take a look at it. That's what we expected. Notice the quoted dollars at versus the unquoted dollars at, and the quoted dollar star versus the unquoted dollar star. Now I know sometimes dollars at and dollar star can be confusing for first time bash programmers, but I hope this brief introduction has given you the understanding and confidence you need to be able to write better bash scripts. Thank you very much.